Hey, what's up, guys? Ventmere here, Team Poké Rifle. Um, this is pretty much gonna be an introductory video to my new channel. Um, it's just I'm not starting a new channel, but pretty much how it is is um, uh, me and the entire team have quit Yu-Gi-Oh, so there will not be any more Yu-Gi-Oh videos, no openings for Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that. I'm um, sorry to the subscribers who did subscribe to me because I did that massive box open, uh, massive opening. Um, that was pretty much. Uh, the last hurrah for Team Poké Rifle for Yu-Gi-Oh. We did that to have some fun. I paid for every bit of it. And yes, people, you are right. It was $300 if you guys watch this and are interested because of which, and keep commenting about the price, I see I do read everybody's comments. I do not reply to all of them, but I do, I do read everybody's comments. I do not have to approve comments before they go on, but I do read everybody's comments before they go on. I will reply, and as you've seen, I do reply to people's comments when I when I, I feel pertinent to do so. But I uh, um I, I do not reply to all of them. Now I've done this deck list in the past. This is going to be the starting um, of pretty much the new channel. It's going to be all Pokemon um, and a lot of other things. Um, it may be Call of Duty videos. It may um, Modern Warfare 3 videos. It may be uh, Ultimate MVC 3 videos. We may be doing some of those, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, I am open to suggestions on this deck. Don't make any major ones. Um, if I say no, don't continue to explain why I should do it. If I say I've tested the idea, I've tested it. Pokemon Network 100, you've been one of the big ones that comments on every one of my videos. Um, you've been the one that comments on every one of my deck lists. I did test out your Darkrai Cresselia theory. I did not like it because it did not work for me. I te I play tested for six uh, not six hours um probably six days worth of tr play testing against that stupid reuniclus Go reuniclus gothitel thing. I played against it constantly, but I did not. It did not help. I used it and knocked out one thing at one point. So yes, thank you for the advice. But I went back to my other deck list. And it's and I'm liking it still. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'll be telling you suggestions that I've been having personally for this. So let's go ahead and start the deck list. I'm not sure if I've changed anything or anything like that. Um, sorry if it's gonna be the same deck list. Um, and I'm sorry I rambled on. But when you get into starting a new channel, a new type of channel, um, and a new format of how you're gonna do your channel, you uh, people like ha like to know what's going on. So. Um, I'll put a link in, I'll put a part in the description showing what time the video starts or whatever. Um, if you guys really don't want to hear me ramble, but it is pertinent information saying that we have quit Yu-Gi-Oh, that we have started new ways of doing things. We're going to be doing more Pokemon openings. I am planning on buying a box of Next Destinies. I'm either going to buy a box of Next Destinies or I'm going to be buying just a couple of copies of Mewtwo EX personally. If you guys do get a copy of Mewtwo EX, come to me. I will be buying in cash. If you guys want PayPal, I do that. If you want cash, I do that. Either way, you will get paid immediately in a transaction. So, if you guys want to do that, when you get it, I will definitely be buying that. Also, they have not announced if Darkrai EX will be in the next set or not. The full scans have not been shown, and they may take out Groudon and Kyogre EX from the next set. So, if they do that, they will be throwing in Darkrai EX and another EX of their choosing. If they bring in Darkrai EX, I will be buying three copies of that. So, if anyone has that, I will be buying it from you as well. If you would come to me, that would be great. So, thank you. Um, so, let's go ahead and start the video. Playing three Fampy. It's just the starter for the big line of Don Fan, uh, four Don Fan, four, or sorry, I'm four Fan P, four Don Fan. Um, I actually have started using Heavy Impact because there are things with too much health that just Earthquake cannot get over. Um, Earthquake's a great starter for the dragons later in the deck, but at the same time, Heavy Impact really gets the deck going as well. Uh, Zorork, Zorua. Um... I actually have decided not to take these out for Muna Musharna. Um, with how the deck runs and how quick the deck is in itself, I decided uh, an Uxx uh, of sorts would not be helpful. Its foul play is great, and I have late game shot things for foul play and won games because of him. So, one Yenma, Yen Mega. Um, linear attack's really good. It eats babies. <laughs> I don't know how much. E I don't know how, what other ways I could say it. Or Sonic Boom's really good for a 70 shot that ignores weak, uh, ignores resistance, um, that or ignores weakness and resistance. So, really? Huh. Oh, cool. 
weakness or resistance, so it's that's actually kind of cool. Um, I, I I'm newbishly just re reread my card because I forgot it said the weakness part, but it's it never affected anything how I played it. Um, um, three Zekrom. Um, one of these Zekrom will be dropped for Mewtwo EX because Mewtwo EX is really good, and that's one reason I stopped playing the uh, Darkrai Cresselia because. Um, Mewtwo EX pretty much takes the place of Darkrai Cresselia because it shoots for higher dam. It may not um, move damage around and get damage going as fast as a Darkrai Cresselia can, but it can shoot for a lot higher. And Gothitelle and Reuniclus are both weak to Psychic, so you shoot it and they have energy on them. Most of the time, Gothitelle at that point has three, four energy on it to shoot for big damage. You drop the Mewtwo EX, you you kill a Gothitelle every shot. So, and then you drop Donphan into the switches when they bring out their Zekrams that have damage on them. So, pretty much at that point, it's, it's GG. So, um, two QM, these things eat babies. Or they outrage things that have a weakness to water. And they're weak to only steel. So they're not weak to lightning, but they are weak to steel. And not many steel decks are prevalent in the meta right now. So I found two of these really to be nice. Um, and I decided to keep in the one um, restroom for any grass decks because grass decks do have a good formidable play anymore in these formats. Um, because they can be fast. Like, Superior is really good. Um, sorry. Um, friends of mine are coming in town and I, they were curious which exit to take. <laughs> um, so then we get into the supporters and trainers. Um, I did take advice from people on things for, for my supporters and trainers, and that has really helped. Like Pokemon Network, you advised me to play three, three to four of these. And yes, that had helped. I, uh, like I said, when I get an, uh, an advice piece on what to do for the deck, I do test it, people. Guys, I do test your advice. Um, I go through extensive amounts of testing when it comes to a deck to make it the way I like it and how good it is against meta decks. I have played against Chandelure, I've played against Gothlock. Um, I've played against uh, Resh Flosion. I've played against uh, Resh Boar. I've played against um, the Cobalion uh, Kyurem Electro deck. I've played against that. I've played against decks like uh, Ross Cawthons. I've played against probably every meta deck that you can possibly think of currently in the meta. So yes, I have played against them. This deck, ha it, because of how toolboxy, um, I thought mine was a meta deck, and I really re-looked at it, and it's more of itself a rogue deck, and I, I did not realize that. It has meta points to it, but it's more of a rogue deck, and I like that because I toolboxed it and made it to where it can stand against meta decks. So that's how I built this deck, so keep that in mind. So I did take your advice, and I went to 3 Collector, and they're working amazingly, so thank you for the advice. Um, definitely check out the Pokemon Network 100. Um, he's really cool. Um, three Professor Oaks, new theory. I am thinking about taking this to four. Um, because there's a card in later that I'll show that I'm thinking about taking out completely because it's just, it's not as good as I thought it was. So I'm playing three of those. Uh, two Copycat, I'm thinking also of taking this to three because late game this thing can be really good. Um, and I, as you can tell, I put money into the game. That's why I say I can buy a Mewtwo EX if you guys have it. I will not buy it for eBay price. I will not. I might not even buy it for Troll and Toad price. If you guys give me Mewtwo EX, I will probably buy it for thirty-five dollars cash to forty. Um, I'm not going to drop fifty and sixty dollars on Mewtwo EX because I do not think it's worth it. If a deck plays Mewtwo EX, it's going to be at one. I do not see it being played at more than that unless it's a deck focused around Mewtwo EX. Um, so if you guys have it, I will buy it for thirty-five to forty cash, straight out. So. If you guys have it, that'd uh, be a great hookup. Um, so two copycat, I'm thinking about taking it to three. Um, four, four catcher. I know this video is going to be long, but it is an introductory video and an explanation. So I um, hope you guys will bear with me. Um, four catcher, because um, taking things off the bench, especially when a baby's asleep, picking things off the bench when they're trying to set it up is really good, especially in this deck. Um, three switch. I almost am thinking about throwing it back to four because I am not seeing this as much as I would like to when I play it. Um, when I would like to switch into something and shoot something that has a weakness to one of my bench Pokemon that's set up. So I'm thinking about taking this back to four. Um, three plus power and three de and two defender. Um, these are just really good. So at a point where I'm facing down an electric deck, if I do, and I've got a Dawn fan, uh, Magnezone at least has to do. 
um, 60 damage minimum. I know that's not that hard, but that retracts from that makes it where you ha you force the opponent to waste more and more of their energy. I have faced against, uh, and that's another thing. I faced against Magna Mega, um, and I faced against the Lantern, um, the Lantern for Alligator Magna uh, uh, Magna Zone deck. I have played against these. Um, and these things are really good because that forces them to waste their energy when late game they cannot get them back as easily because they've wasted all their resources to get them into the into play and use. Um, two communication. These might be dropped for two heavy balls because I I have not found much use for these. I might just go for a one one heavy ball com uh, communication, or I may just drop um, one of these next ones I'm going to show because of which for heavy balls. And then um, for Charon, Charon is not as good as I as I once thought it was going to be. Oak is better. Straight, plain, and simple. Um, Oak is a lot better. Um, copycat can be better. Um, and this is one of the things, I may drop one for an Oak, one for a Copycat, and then two for Heavy Balls. This is, these are things that, I, like I said, I go through hours of, of testing. I, th this makes it sound like I don't have a life. Uh, I do have a fiancé, I do have a life, I do have a job, school, everything. So I do have a life. Trust me on this. Um, but I just, I go through testing online, I go through testing with friends of mine, I go through testing at League. So I am thinking about taking one out for an Oak, one out for a Copycat, and then two out for Heavy Balls, because it would seem more consistent. So if you guys, tell me if you agree, tell me if you don't. I, I will take into consideration test your ideas, and I will, I will thank you if they work. So let's finish off with the energy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fighting energy. I know I do play a low count of energy, so don't criticize me for that. It, it works, trust me. Um, four double colors for the dragons and for Mewtwo when he drops, um, and also for Zorork. Um, four, four ra rainbow energy. Now this is the card that I really have learned to be picky about when I play it. When I play it, I have to be picky of who I'm going to play it on. Most of the time, I'll play it on a Kyurem. If, if they have a baby, I'll set it up. If they have something that I can't get over, I will drop it on onto um, Zoroark, one onto a Zoroark, and get it going and get a card to my hand that I have not been able to draw into with Oak or anything like that. I will drop him onto Zekrom to get him going. I will drop it onto Reshram for a free drop of 120. I'll drop it onto... I mean, it's just that simple that I can drop it onto anything I want, and especially Mewtwo. I, next set, I can drop two onto him, drop a fighting energy onto him, and then 120 shot something. And especially if the, I'm sorry, especially if I'm dropping it onto um, against a uh, Gothitel, I'll be shooting for a two. I'll be shooting for 240, and then discarding the fighting energy. So it's an it's a simple cleanup of when to play the card because you have to be smart about your rainbow energy. These are picky and choosy cards. So. Alright guys, um, that is the deck. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to rate it, to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys will. Because if you guys do, we will be making more videos. And tell me what you guys would like to see on the new channel. If you'd like to see, um, what gaming videos would you like to see? Would you like to see Super Smash Bros. Brawl? Melee? Would you like to see Call of Duty? Would you like to see, um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Uh, M not Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Um... Ultimate MVC3, would you like to see Marvel vs. Capcom, or, um, yeah, um, would you like to see, uh, Blaze Blue videos, would you like to see Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi, or any of those battle videos, would you like to see Naruto videos, I can start doing Naruto card game, I do, I do have cards, I can build it. Also, would you guys like to see different decks, what different decks would you guys like to see, me and my team have resources into Pokemon, we have always had resources. As you can tell from how foiled out my deck is, I have the resources to buy what I need for the game, and... I know that kills off the trading purposes, but I do trade for what I need as well. If there's somebody in, in my locals that I've seen that has it, I will buy what I need and then trade for what they have if I haven't brought what I need. Or I will buy what they're wanting and then trade for it. So I still keep the trading game going. So if you guys would like to see any of this, let me know, and we will definitely get what we're going. Um, we would love to get more subscribers. We would love to get more views. We also do have a team channel. It's called Team Poke Rifle. Some of our videos will be on it, and I will put a link into the description right here. Um, or in the description, either way, one of the two. So I hope you guys like this video, and don't forget to have a nice day. Peace out, guys.